this is keeping up with cg davis yes today i'll be showing you on how you can apply for the barrier european masters and um, this is the website the master dash barrier.eu you need to click on how to apply click on apply now and take it to the steps so in order for you to apply you need to start from the step one step two step three step four and step five involves you to like validate everything then you um you know you've uploaded your document they'll send you an email to confirm your um to confirm that your document has been received so you put in your first name your last name which is your surname your first name your gender put in your email address put in your email address after when you're done putting your email address you have to put down your your date of birth so you put 22 your month the year of birth place you were born if you're born in nigeria you put it there you put in your passport number it's very important for you to get your passport as i said in my previous video your passport is important so those of you that are planning on um, applying for this particular scholarship please go and get an international passport as it's really vital in your application as you can see it's that you can't go further without having your passport number so it's really essential you get it you put in your phone number validate this step the next step you can see we have the eligibility criteria um, criteria the admission requirements the, the question is um do you have an undergraduate bachelor degree or equivalent as mentioned above if you have you click on yes why you must necessarily have they said um, why you must necessarily have obtained your first higher education degree at the time of enrollment the joint master degree bar ref accept applicant from students in the last year of their first higher education degree so the next question is have you already benefited from the erasmus mondo's joint master degree or an erasmus mondo's master course if you have you click on yes if you haven't you click on no what is your nationality so you put in your nationality so me i'm go to nigeria the next one is the next question is at the start of the application have you lived resided or carried out the main activity for more than 12 months over the last five years if you have you click on yes but if you haven't but in the course of this video the answer will be no because if you're from nigeria and you haven't lived or resided in any of these countries you'll be having to stay you have to click on no the next thing is if you're not selected to be part as an Erasmus Mondo's scholarship student, do you want to be considered as a self-paying student? If you do, please make sure you have the possibility to pay for the two years power of studies, that is the tuition fee and the living expenses. So you have to like check the scholarship information regarding other grants opportunities. So if you have, when I applied for my, I clicked on no because I didn't have that kind of amount of money. In order to like pay my tuition fee or living expenses, I didn't have that money, so I clicked on no. But if you do, you can click on yes. So you validate this step. The next thing you do is to assess your your academic um, background, which is step three. You put in your if you if you have your master degree, you click on master degree. If you have just a bachelor degree, you click on that. If you're still in school, you could put currently being attended or if you're done, if you're a graduate, you put in your, you put, um, you click on concluded, you put in your name of your program. If you're a chemical engineer, just put in chemical engineer, engineer, mean, then put in your institution name, um, landmark university. The next step is your country where you did where you have this degree for this course is nigeria here it was awarded i will just put um let's say 2000 let's say 2022 um or 2020 22 let's assume the great awarded if you if you finish the first class you could put first class there or two one whatever grade you finish to it if you have a second degree you put that 
The next thing is your language skill. What is your mother tongue? You could put your mother tongue, my Yoruba, Yorubo. You could put any, any. Um, you could put your mother tongue. The next one is English, other language, other languages rather. Put it. Um, your level, if it's advanced, if you know how to speak French, you can add that and put in your. If it's basics, if you're a basic speaker, why not? The next thing is to. Um, what is your main activity at the moment? If you're a student, are you in employment, seeking, um, seeking employment or others? If you are, you could put students or in employment. It depends on you. Then they said name name of the institution you're currently involved with and um, describe your employment experience if applicable, past and present. So the first essay you have to write here is please describe your employment experiences uh if applicable past and present and the maximum is 215 now i expect you to write this um probably you should get a piece of paper and write down this essay because you need to submit it i wrote it down then the next thing is to uh write um your referee one and referee two you put in your proposed mobility track and here are the essays i think this yes exactly so in your step two you get to see essays and all so now this is what we have these are the referee last name the first name of your referee your the email address the organization referee to the last name and all so you have to put it you can actually go put um your referee can be both um institution institutional ref, referee or you could have it depends anyone it could be someone at your university because it said there that you must register for your referee section you must register to referee as part of your application please give the contact details of each person signing your reference letters be sure that your contact will download the letter otherwise your application will not be considered as complete please make sure that the email addresses entered are correctly are written correctly because you won't be able to change them afterwards please be sure the university email system does not fit as emails coming from this system so your reference um, your recommenders or uh, your referee should come from university basically because it said be sure the university email system does not fit as emails coming from this website so the next um, essay you need to write that is the proposed mobility track so there are several informations on this you just need to go to the program click on mobility tracks and you will get to see different mobility tracks and the degree so now for the proposed mobility track you need to take in account that the preferred option you state here will be considered but the final decision on applicant mobility track will be approved by the academic the Bar of Academic Board taking into account the event distribution of students among the participating universities, the academic profile and interest of the students. So if your decision or your mobility track is Barry, you click on Barry or if it's Lee, you put on you click on Lee. So these are the essays you need to write on. Why have you chosen this master degree Bar Ref? Um, I've, uh, I've I did a video on how you can write a motivation letter. So please ensure you watch it and um, i'm going to put the link in the descri description box in this particular video then why have you um, why have you chosen this mobility track which is why did you select barry or why did you select lee as your option for the mobility track and the next essay you need to write is describe briefly the impact of this academic program on the development of your main activity slash your education and career so you need to write this essay let me repeat myself again describe the um, briefly the impact of this academic program on the development of your main activity education career then the next thing is describe briefly describe the impact you expect your participation in this project will have in your home country or region Tell us how you think participating in this master's degree will be life-changing and discuss your motivation to study abroad. Very important. And um, in my video, I may mention of how you can respond on how you can answer these questions 
really important i believe they need to go over to my video to watch it in order for you to start writing your sop or your motivation letter the next thing is how did you get to know there are some of those joint masters you could tell them student for masters the buyer um masters website depends on you then have you applied to other financial support at the same time if you have you click on yes if you haven't click on no and provide any additional additional information that may further improve your application so you write it down i i i, I think i responded to this question you need to check my motivation letter then the next step uh the document to upload i can't go forward or i can't go further because i have submitted before and i can't write down anything or oh, let's give it a try i could just keep on this 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 um why have you chosen student from another no this I can actually go further because I have to put in my referees. But let's see this, this. Let's continue. Let's see. Okay, let's validate. I think there's something missing here. I haven't taken account of F F F F. So let's validate this step okay something is missing something is missing here maximum is 200 please take in account of the maximum you have to write that's maximum 200 well for each of the essays what is missing in this place let's see let's see let's see depends yeah i think it's complete so just to go next okay guys i cannot go forward in this application due to the fact i have done my application so i did this video in order for people that have not gotten their international passports and um, um and some other individuals so i think we have come to the end of this video please take in account of this the essays you need to write why you have chosen this master's degree why you have chosen this mobility track, the impact of the academic program in development of your main activity, briefly describe the impact you expect of participation in this program will have in your home country. Tell me tell us how you think participating in this master degree will be life changing and discuss your motivation to study abroad. So in in order for you to select your mobility track, you need to click on program, mobility track and um, degree. So you get to see different um the integration week the summer school and so many other things you have here so you could um base your decision on what you have here for the first year you have to pick your specialization chemical and thermochemical routes for luminous based biorefinery the second option is as a medical microbial or chemical processes for an oil based biorefinery so you have to select so it depends on your area of specialty that will guide you on how to select so we have come to the end of this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to this youtube channel and i'll catch up with you later and do not forget to watch my video on the motivation letter how you can write a motivation letter so see you next time bye guys